Uh, and we are back on the Rodriguez show. And we have two very special guests. I'll introduce our friend first. We've known her longer. She, I mean, you're friend. Both are friends, but uh, <laughs> no, you're not a friend. Tracy, friend. how's it going, Tracy? What's up? I'm yeah. here just to join the party. This yeah. is not hey. my interview. Yeah. Let me just say it right now. The Tracy like, interview. Oh my yeah, this is not the Tracy interview. This is not the Tracy interview. Tracy's Tracy. just hanging out with just us. Just hanging out. Uh, because uh, she's bringing her friend and our friend, Paula, aka mm -hmm. Mackenzie Lee. How are you? I'm good. Hey. How are you? Hey. Uh, <laughs> Follow her at official Mackenzie Lee on Instagram. She has been in. So we always try to feature different kinds of artists on the Rodriguez show. And uh, Paula, a.k.a. Mackenzie Lee, is one of the biggest stars of the adult film industry. You've been in it since 2002. I did the research. And you won did, Best New did. Starlet at AVN in 2006, uh, which is a really big deal. Uh, so we'll, we'll talk about that and Tracy's here because she's our friend and she likes to hang out and do segments with and us she sometimes. Knows me. And she's and she codependent, so I need to be here. <laughs> she's super best friends. <laughs> so how are you, Paula? How's it going? I'm good. How are you? Good, good. Yeah, we're mm -hmm. here hanging out in the studio. Uh, so I, I did some research on your story. I mm -hmm. wanted to talk about you, like, you know, how you got into this whole thing. Uh, so first, uh, I know there's a special way to say it. So I want to find out where you're from exactly. I'm from Leicester, which is in England. England. I'm a Brit. She's yes. British, mate. I'm British. Mate. <laughs> there you go. Mm -hmm. uh, so you were there, and you started as an exotic dancer. What what For motivated sure. you to start as an exotic dancer? Um, long story short, I realized that you know when my clothes were able to come off when I was 18, that guys would give me money, and it, I just. You know, that was it. Like, yeah. mm -hmm. it was, she learned men are dumb. Yeah, I pretty much learned men are dumb and would pay me. So, yeah. you know, I was being nice. Don't be nice. Okay, cool. Yeah. No, um, you're so nice. I, was like, I was like being super nice about it. Yeah. But yeah, so um, while well, I was working in bars anyway, I was working yeah. in nightclubs. And then someone said to me, Hey, have you ever thought about doing this? And I was like, Me? <laughs> me. I'm like kind of shy. Yeah. Like, my normal personality is really kind of shy. Yeah. So, I don't know. One day I was like, Dude, I'm sick of being broke. Yeah. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go try out, and that's how I spent the next few years. Yeah, trolling the clubs of Birmingham and London. Birmingham. Wow, she's a right, piggy yeah. blinder. Uh, and so you you were an exotic dancer making a lot of money. Uh, how did you decide decide to start making the, the films? Oh God, well this is another story. Yeah. I love it. So um, basically, I had a lot of roommates in a big house, and one of the roommates in particular was um, an adult star. Mm -hmm. So I just got used to having naked people in my kitchen on a Saturday morning, you know. So. And then one day it was like, well, do you want to try it? <laughs> and I was like, well, you know what? I'm kind of bored of sitting at the bar drinking like Prosecco. Oh, classy. Like, yeah. you know, whatever. <laughs> I'm, I'm classy. Classy. I'm so She's classy. classy. Okay. <laughs> so, you know, I was like just kind of bored with my life at the time. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to try it. Mm. It's a solid paycheck. Yeah. So, Get that bag, man. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I tried it yeah. and I realized it wasn't so bad. Yeah. And I didn't feel weird because I've already been naked half my life. Yeah. So it's just going a little extra mile. And I was working with the people that lived with me anyway. So you just started it, was, it was just, I was just started making money and then I yeah. got contracted to Playboy. Yeah. But how, did, how does that process work? Like, how did they, so the guy that you were living with who was an adult star, he mm -hmm. probably, did he have this connection? There's was, there was two of them? Yeah, there's two of them. And then you just like, I don't know, the, the, industry in england is so small anyway mm -hmm. there's literally like 15 of us mm -hmm. that all rotate around mm -hmm. pretty much so it's like yeah. we're like one little family that has sex with each other it's kind of weird but not weird in don't think about it too hard don't think about it in that way but yeah. like it's uh it's like you're forever like seeing the same person over and over again mm -hmm. in the same month you mm -hmm. know so it's just word of mouth basically yeah. and then when people see you like getting big or like, oh, hey, she's kind of cute or like whatever the case may be, then certain companies get interested in you. So, mm. and it's like Playboy, they hit me up because they realize I'm a good talker and I can pretty much talk until, you know, whatever. Like I could talk for a real long time about nothing. 
Yeah, because so you're so Playboy, uh, they have shows where it's not just people having sex, mm-hmm. and they have like talk shows. Yeah, they have talk shows, night calls, like stuff like that. So you just bring on guests and you do pretty much what you do. Yeah. yeah. And then it's just, just interview it revolves people. around sex. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so you signed to do that. And then so what, what are the benefits of being a contract star, essentially? Well, I mean, when I came out here, it's different because yeah. I. Okay, so Playboy sent me out here yeah. to like interview backstage for Showtime. And that's where I met Jenna Jameson. And then all of a sudden, I was like, well, I'm going to make bank while I'm here. I'm going to stay for three months, make bank. So assigned to an agent. Mm-hmm. I was with that agent for like three weeks, Mark Spiegler. Mm-hmm. And um, and then I got offered a contract with Jenna Jameson and also Wicked Pictures. Mm-hmm. So and I was like, dude, I don't even know what a contract is, really. But like, we're going to go with this. So... Um, you get signed to do like a certain amount of movies a year, like eight movies, and they pay you monthly a monthly salary, whether you do them or not. Pretty oh, much, that's so good. Yeah. it's it's a win win. So you're kind of set. You're just like a salary yeah. for doing. So it. it's a salary, and then um, and then of course you go feature dance on the side. You can make money that way. You can yeah. do other you can do other stuff. Yeah, and then as a contract star, they're like because you're working with a bigger company, yeah. these projects have more exposure, For so sure. more people see and them. And your name gets bigger. Yeah. And then I don't know. I mean, I've been doing it a real long time, and I'm still people still book me. So I guess you know it it's works. Still somewhere. going. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and you, then you, and that's how you made it to the AVNs, right? For sure. Um, uh, yeah, I made it to the AVNs like being in my contract here. Yeah. So yeah. And the AVNs for people that don't know, they're like the award show for. Like yeah, like films. the Oscars are poor. Yeah, and and those, they, they it's long, man. They have like three hour shows. They have performances they have, with yeah. multiple good performances songs too. by the artists. We yeah. have solid, they have we have good solid performance performances too. Like last year, not last year, the year before was like Doja Cat and Diplo. Yeah. So yeah, so we. I thought you guys had Bad Bunny too. Oh yeah, Damn. So, yeah, yeah. Day. So yeah, so we had um, and so we always have multiple artists on, so yeah. it's pretty cool. Yeah. But it's a fun time. It's yeah, and I've seen somebody that's been there for a while. You've seen how it's. Be- I feel like it's become more mainstream. For like sure. as as the internet, you know, became a thing. Like people are just more open about it. You know? For sure. Uh, so yeah, so you won best new starlet. What? Oh. How did you win best? What was it for? What? Yeah, how did you? Win? Yeah, how did I win? I did. Um, so, well, this one, this award is like the princess of porn. Mm-hmm. So, to me, I, you know, what? that year I really didn't want to win. I was like, please don't. <laughs> <laughs> like, I was like, I was like, like sinking in my chair because yeah. the the worst thing is like getting up in front of a hall of people and talking. Yeah. I couldn't think of anything worse. And I'm already like, we already do a convention for days before that. So I'm tired. Yeah. <laughs> tired. And I don't know what to say. Dude, who do I thank? My mom, and my dad for making me. <laughs> and like, you know, like, like, I mean, it's pretty like. Right. It's, it's not like, normal. Really? It's like not normal. I mean, yeah. it's normal, but it's not normal. But so, so yeah. So essentially that award is like the princess of porn, but I really. It's kind of an odd one for me because you have to be American to win that award, and clearly mm. this bitch is British. So, um, <laughs> so, so yeah. So we we broke the mold with that wow, one, I cool. guess. So yeah. it's pretty cool. It's groundbreaking, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's, a, it's a solid piece of plastic that sits on my kitchen side. <laughs> yeah. It looks so cool. It looks pretty cool. With the bodies <laughs> all in yeah. it. So yeah. Uh, yeah. So what happens after you win that? What? Nothing. You like. Uh, <laughs> like <laughs> So, like, nothing. Just, like, you're the princess of porn. Everyone wants you to, like, I don't know, essentially be in their stuff. Like, yeah. your name gets bigger. Like, you have more ex- exposure. Like, there's just nothing Nothing miraculous happens. Mm-hmm. But, so, I mean, it's, yeah, you won an award for the work you're doing. Yeah, so. I mean, it's pretty cool. I've won, like, a few awards, a mm-hmm. few different awards, mm-hmm. like Temptation Awards, which are, like, solid, like, like, I don't know them. Almost like weapons, huh? It's yeah, like, dude, that thing was like, pretty. Scary. Yeah, it's like it's like a weapon. So, <laughs> so yeah. So there are there are quite some odd awards for like sex scenes and yeah. like things like that. They're like really like, specific. Dude, yeah, too. I Very look specific. so good, boning down. So that's apparently, it. apparently <laughs> so. It's either you look good or you don't. Exactly. Yeah. There you go. No special thing to it. No. Everyone does it, right? So you, you've been able to have a career mm-hmm. uh, where you you know you can leave for a little bit and come back. For sure. Uh, how does that work? What what motivates you to leave and, and to come back? I get bored. Do you get bored? <laughs> um, yeah. So and also the money. Mm-hmm. I mean, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, so I try and be normal for a bit. When yeah. Paula tries to be normal, I'll go off and do something else, yeah. and then um, and then I'm like, well, dude, I might as well go back and make 
make bank and then if I leave again, I leave again. Like, mm. I'm fortunate because I have a name that I yeah. can keep hopping in and out as much as I want. Yeah. Like the newer girls these days, some people don't, they either last or they don't, yeah. you know, so. And I feel like you have a consistent enough fan base where they're like, oh, she's back. For sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there, I have some legit hardcore fans. Oh, she does. Yeah. Like, like some... She'll put a picture of us on Twitter. Mm -hmm. We get called angels for at least some They month. love us. <laughs> <laughs> like, they love us. Like, so you're living for that. Huh? <laughs> well, I'm like, we need a little attention today. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. 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 So, yeah. So, I mean, if ever I'm not feeling, like, validated one day, I can go to my Instagram or my Twitter account. Mm -hmm. And, dude, it's just... It's there. Yeah. There it it's is. It's right there. Yeah. There it is. Like it's really like superficial, but it's, whatever. Whatever. <laughs> yeah. It's not real. It's love, the internet. Some kind of love. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> uh, so yeah, so that's something you know, I'm sure that working in the industry is just something that just is part of your life, obviously, mm -hmm. and you're very open about it. For sure. Uh, but how does that affect your like friendships? How, how has that ever made it weird? Has it made it weird, Tracy? No, just when like when you wanna show me a scene. <laughs> Do I you remember show you my sex scene? Uh, no, no, no. Weird. Remember that one picture? You're like, okay, are you oh, ready for uh -huh, that thing? <laughs> that was the scariest thing I've ever okay. seen in my life. So, <laughs> what? It, okay, so for everyone else, uh, <laughs> this just is gonna so get know, graphic. This, no, this so, is the only. That's the, the only thing okay, that sometimes so I'm like, okay, the, wait. <laughs> well, I did crop it, so you're like the fact that you cropped it's I a little it. scary because what um, I saw. Well, okay, so this is how I knew I made it an yeah. adult film because mm -hmm. men.com booked me, and I'm mm -hmm. like, dude. Men.com? Made it to the gay dudes. Yeah, the gay dudes. Like, so oh, I made okay. it to the gay guys, right? So as a female performer, that's a big deal. Yeah. Like, I'm like, yo, when men.com book you, you know. You know you got it. I yeah. made it. Wow. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. you know, so um, so I did this one specific scene, and there's, there was a part of my body, this part, yeah. that was not there anymore. Like, yeah. it was in someone else. So and so, so like forearm, basically. Like, it, like this. to my elbow so yeah. it was like it oh. turned into like a circus act <laughs> yeah like it turned into like some Cirque du Soleil act how far so, you can go and it was uh -huh. like so I had this one guy here for instance and the other guy here and I was like not paying attention to what was going on here because I was right. like this in the picture you were like she was tripping out. She was tripping out. I was like, I was like <laughs> this is what dreams are made of. Like, it Some was dreams. like my moment. Some dreams. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, it was my dream. Not mine. For sure. No. Nope. And, and Tracy, that this image just burned in your, in your Forever. head. Forever. Well, I, I do try and make them PG for her. So, yeah. like. Well, yeah, because she goes, okay, this is what I did. You want to see the picture? And I'm like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was. Uh, that was, a, yeah, that but, was a big deal. Yeah, but the question is, no, it's not weird. It's yeah. not weird. No. You just, you just get used to it. Uh, I, like, there hasn't ever been a moment where I've been like, oh. We go out to restaurants and people call me by my, oh, my yeah. work name. So when we go to, like, restaurants and stuff like that, and we go by her work name, I have to remember that that's her work name. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But other than that, it's not really. It's or, whatever. like, you get people, like, looking weird, like, sometimes. Right. And we're just like. And we just go, yeah, you know her, but we're but are you gonna but, admit that you know you know her from <laughs> you know where? Well, well, my favorite is when people are like, because they don't expect me to be really upfront and honest yeah. about it. They're all like, "Oh, I've seen you somewhere." I'm like, "Dude, it's Pornhub," and they go, oh. <laughs> "Like it's Pornhub." Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then I'm they not go lying. like, "Oh yeah." Or no, they, <laughs> just, they just go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> my favorite is when TSA do that. Where are you from? Pornhub. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. So. The the way that I. I asked Tracy, I was like, where do I know her from? And she's like, where do you think you know her from? <laughs> and then I was like, I don't know. And then I just like, oh. I and we were just like, come it. on, come on. <laughs> but you didn't, it, I didn't realize it until like weeks later until she told me. I think it's because of the way I told you that I knew her, yeah. that you were like, well, it clearly, didn't connect. I didn't know Tracy like that. No, like, no, no. no okay, so her. long story short, she dated my brother. That's how I know uh, her. Yeah. I mean, he's a hottie. <laughs> we'll move away from that yeah. conversation. Uh, <laughs> you mentioned that people recognize you. Have you ever been in a weird sure. situation that somebody recognized you? said TSA. Um, not uh, really, because I just... Uh, you just you take it so well, you're just like, it's all good? I mean, unless there's like, like honestly, like kids around and stuff like that, yeah. then I'm very, uh, yeah, like, you got to cut people off, like, yeah. mm -hmm. with that. So, because there's a time and a place for everything. Yeah, so. That's, yeah that makes sense. So, yeah. Uh, so have you, do you have any memorable, like, movies, like, movies that you've shot that you, oh, like, damn. classic, that like, you, like, can't forget about this classic. one? Classic. <laughs> wait, wait, are we going, like, 20 years? Um, I don't know, I mean, I have my own movie line, clearly, with, uh, 
with uh, Club Jenna is like Mackenzie Mead, Mackenzie mm. Loves Pain. Like, oh, wow. I don't love pain. No, you don't. You know, don't She's pain. kind of a pussy with pain, so I don't so know. I don't like That's pain, a lie. But yeah. Well, actually, I pierced my clit, so that was good. That was, that was good. We wow. did have um, this whole discussion. Yeah. For, for that movie, just because I had to like show them that I love pain. Method uh, acting, you know? <laughs> wow. Yeah. I, I, go, I acting. go above and beyond for, yeah. <laughs> for sure. So, this is how uh, much I love pain. I do love pain. Um, no, I don't love pain. Yeah. Like, I'm like, don't hit me, I will hit you back. Oh, so, for so sure. Like, yeah. I'm not like one of them people in a scene where it's like, Maybe I can, can take so you. much. I mean, you can yeah. for a little bit, but I might punch you back in the nose. It depends yeah. what, what mood I'm in that like day. That. So, is there is there like a, is, is that your line right there when, when mm-hmm. it comes to like shooting? Don't punch me or anything? I don't think anybody should be punching anyone. Well, no, but, but like, I mean. Um, no, um, we are, okay, so when I came back to the business most recently, now they do the thing, this thing where performers all talk to each other, each other before the scene. They'll be oh, like, okay. okay, so uh, what, what do you like and what don't you like? <laughs> and it's like... <laughs> You're like, the oh, hell? No, Why are we talking that? about this? <laughs> like, so it's like, you know, what are your no's? What do you do's and what do you don't? Yeah, and yeah. I was like, I mean, uh, clearly the industry has evolved. But yeah. like, I'm like, dude, I have no no list. I'm just going to go go with the flow. Like, yeah. the more intense you can make it, the better. Like, if you let me get into your soul for 30 minutes of your life, then it's going to be way better for you and I. Because, yeah. like, for me, a scene is like a power struggle. It's not mm. about the sex, honestly. Mm. It's like, dude, it's just like a power struggle. And so... So yeah, so now they're doing the whole like no thing, like what yeah. do you like? You don't want me to so what squeeze you your nipple this this bit to the left, like uh, what do I say? Yeah, what yeah. do you say? I go. Uh, well, I don't care, mate. Not like applicable. That. Not applicable. <laughs> <laughs> whatever happens, happens. Whatever happens, happens. <laughs> yeah. Like whatever, whatever yeah. you want to roll with. So. So so would you say that you've generally just had a, a positive experience in in this whole yeah, industry for sure. as a People whole? Yeah, don't fuck with me. Yeah. Like, so, I mean, there are horror stories in this yeah. business for sure. Like, but I don't, um, I don't know. People just don't fuck with me like that because yeah. they know that I'm very business orientated. Like I go to work, I show up on time and, and I just like, I want to do my job and I want to leave. I want to go home and I want to yeah. watch Netflix and I want to take a shower. I'm pretty boring otherwise. Yeah. She's super boring. I'm really boring. She's really boring. Wow. But, really? but you're very professional about it. So but people respect that. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're boring. Like, so, <laughs> so, yeah. So yeah. I'm super like professional in that way, for sure. Uh, so well, something else I wanted to ask about was, you know, the, the big craze right now, the past couple of years has been OnlyFans. And I know you're, you're on it as well. Uh, what is your experience with it as um, somebody who's been in the industry? Okay, so it's a for sure up and down thing. Like, um, oh, there are a few secrets to OnlyFans that I literally I can't tell you guys because it, it, no, no, it will ruin it. Like, it will ruin it for a lot of people, maybe yeah. the whole world. But, um, <laughs> like, so, uh, so my experience with OnlyFans is it's a lot. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. there are a lot of people on there, and the messages are a lot. Oh, yeah. that's right. like yeah. a whole lot. So, it, and uh, I don't know for people like myself, I find it very difficult yeah. to like. I'm already annoyed after two messages, dude. Yeah. Like, I'm mad. Like, yeah, I feel like the whole like the whole messaging thing is just an added thing that people now have to do, and it just mm-hmm. it's, it's just like, they a don't lot. Do that. Like, I mean, the secret to OnlyFans is you sell your content in the messages. Like, mm-hmm. it's a pay per view message. Right. Like, they click on it. Boom. Like you give the free preview like, and, yeah, then and then and then they you click on the it. Like you stuff. put very generic stuff on your like main page, like mm-hmm. you do on whatever Instagram, Twitter, and then you make your money in the messages, mm-hmm. or you make your money doing Skype shows, or you make your money like yeah, Skype, shows. Skype show. That's Skype you haven't things. done that in a minute because I know. So because um, that means I've got to get ready. I know. But yeah. I mean, when you do it, like Skype shows are cool. Like you, know, fifteen, like fifteen minutes, you can. It's like well, you make like se- seven hundred was yeah, your biggest seven one. Seven was like yeah. fifteen minutes because wow. clearly fifteen minutes of my time is very. Important. It's valuable. And have you found in these uh, converse- shows conversations that people do people just want, sometimes just want to talk or? Um. Yeah. Yeah. I, it's, it's like a therapy session, honestly. Yeah. Like you are a therapist. You're, I don't know, you're whatever you need to be that day for different yeah. people. Like I had one guy tell me, "Hey, you've been my quarantine girlfriend." <laughs> That's weird because yeah. I've just met you. 
You're like, send me something on my Amazon wish list if that's true. I don't have an Amazon wish list. Why don't you I'm a clotting one? bitch. <laughs> send me the labo then. Because <laughs> I mean, you can send me that stuff. But, <laughs> but like, I don't, I don't know. I don't, I'm not the regular type of adult star like where they'll sell they like use lingerie or they'll have their amazon wish list i'm like dude i just think that's like stop it stop it like <laughs> I don't you think know it's bad. maybe we should try it maybe i should try it yeah. maybe i'm missing out but like i i don't feel like i'm missing out i feel like i function generally day-to-day life pretty well yeah, yeah you do yeah. Mm-hmm. well that's good i wanted to ask another thing i know uh we're, we're running out of time here but what advice would you give somebody that wants to get into the industry at this point, this this new landscape of the um, industry. Okay, so I so the guys ask me all the time, how 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 do I do this? I'm like, dude, I don't know. Like, I'm not <laughs> a guy. Like like oh yeah, I'm, the guys. Like I don't like know. The, I'm guys, like but... I can't I can't help you. So yeah. sorry. Like so there's that. Like call an agent. Call one of the agencies. Google it. Like you know. But mm. um, many men think that they can do this job and they really uh, it's not all what it looks mm-hmm. like i promise you no. and then for for girls that want to get in the business i'm really like or for guys honestly it's, it's something that stays with you for the, your whole entire lifetime it's not just a google search and like in 10 years you're going to be gone because you're not going to be gone so mm. the one thing that i really didn't think about when i first got into this business was like dude it's going to be there forever. Yeah. Like your kids are going to see this, your grandkids are going to see this. And then you have to explain why you did this in the first place. So, yeah. and and a lot of people don't think that far ahead. So yeah. I would just advise people that, you know, if, if it's something that you really want to do and it's something that you're comfortable with, then then go for it. But just, just maybe take a little, five more minutes thinking about it really, whether you want to do it because a lot of people come into this business and they last three months. Yeah, that content is going to be out there for for the next Forever. 20 years. Forever. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. so. Yeah, because I feel like, it, yeah, the movies that you made a couple of years ago, they're, if they're, it's right, on right. Pornhub, it's not going to go down. Yeah. You see the same videos on Pornhub for years. <laughs> for so years. either either like you do it and you go hard and you make a career of it, yeah. like, or let's just not we just yeah. don't do it. Or maybe just doing OnlyFans where you can just You just sell your, like, your foot picture or something. Yeah, foot pictures actually is a big thing for it's people big thing. that don't want to like it. Yeah. It's a niche and people, so you would, people like it. So obviously there is a different different free, the difference, but you would say OnlyFans is a little bit easy, a little bit lighter than... Well, than, yeah. you can delete that. Like, yeah. you know, unless uh, people do obviously screen record some of your stuff and keep the content, but yeah. like, you know, you can still remain less seen than in mainstream yeah. adult film yeah. so it's one of them things do you want to be smart and like make your content at home personally my home is my home and i won't make content in my home because right. i'm just kind of weird like that yeah but um but these the younger girls are all about it they're all got the phone in the shower and they're all like you know fuck it like whatever i'm like dude i'm taking a shower i'm not gonna be like, like now <laughs> shower. Like, like it's not gonna happen yeah. so so yeah, so I, all I would say is you just think about it a little longer, like because if you really want to do something else and have another career, another professional career, it's gonna follow you around. Like yeah. you want to be a teacher, like dude, you might be in like parent teacher conferences with somebody that's watched you with a fan on yeah. one hand. Mm-hmm. Wow. So mm-hmm. just think about it twice. Yeah. Well, thank you, Paula, for being You're here welcome. for talking to us about the industry and wow. your career. Uh, before you go, I did want to do this segment called 60 Seconds With. I'm terrible with um, we'll, we'll, You'll do it first and then... Uh, oh, God. Or should we have Tracy go no, first? We'll have Tracy first. go first. You do it first because yeah. I don't know I like how you're songs. yelling at me already. <laughs> Tracy's been on the show. <laughs> Names of songs, nothing. Just whatever comes to mind. Yeah, just Tracy first thing that comes to mind. I got it. Oh, you fine. can hear the questions. I'll give you the same ones just so... So you know. All right. You ready, Tracy? She's not going to pay attention. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she's not. Right. She's yeah. Tracy, you know her. She's been on the show for <laughs> hanging out with us for years. Mm-hmm. Uh, you ready for this? Yeah, let's do All it. Right. Favorite cartoon character? Uh, SpongeBob. Favorite song right now? Right now, let's do... Just for me, <gasps> SZA. Do you have one word to describe you as a kid? Mm, talkative. Indica sativa hybrid. Uh, nothing right now. Bad trip. Do you have a hidden it. talent. <laughs> a hidden talent. She uh, can bench press me. I can. Oh, I can squat her. Uh, <laughs> uh, the name of your enemy in high school. I didn't have any. 
That's right. <laughs> best friend. Oh, Apple. Caesar. Uh, <laughs> Caesar uh, for best friend and enemy. Friend of Oh, shit. <laughs> for a uh, favorite movie. Uh, Space Jam, because I just watched it right now. Jim Carrey or Will Ferrell? Jim Carrey. Uh, Dave Chappelle or Eddie Murphy? Dave Chappelle. Uh, Raptor Drake or R&B Drake? R&B Drake. Mm-hmm. Sports car or classic car? Sports car. And your favorite thing about music? Um, I can get lost in it. And that's 60 seconds. <laughs> Tracy. <laughs> All right, Paula, are you ready for this? Did you listen to any of the questions? No. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right go. 60 seconds with Paula, a.k.a. Kenzie Lee, on The Rodriguez Show. Favorite cartoon character? Mickey Mouse. Uh, favorite song right now? <laughs> uh, the one that she said, just uh, me. What more describe you when you were a kid? Mm, shy. Do you have a hidden talent? Many. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I can't say that. Oh, uh, it's true. Indica Sativa <laughs> Hybrid. None of them. N- Netflix, Hulu, or HBO? All of the above. <laughs> uh, name of your best friend in high school? I a lot of them. Oh, popular. Uh, your favorite CD? Oh, damn. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I, like, I, I wait, CDs. Okay, favorite movie? Also, I don't know, many. A Beetlejuice. She's a lot. Oh, I she do. I love Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice. Thanks. Thank All you. Right. Nice. Thank uh, you. Favorite type of music? Oh God, I like a variety of music, and she's gonna bang on According me because I do like According to my brother, country. she likes TJ Maxx tracks, <laughs> and he's rude. Oh, and and so let's like, just say, how do, store wait, wait, how do my? How I know do what my, you're talking about. Though. How do my songs end up on his playlist then? Because Tell he likes TJ Maxx shit there too. There you go. <laughs> So that was 60 seconds with Paula <laughs> Mackenzie Lee. Follow her at official Mackenzie Lee on Instagram. Tracy, where can they follow you? What's your Instagram? Um, Instagram. I don't follow back though, so I guess you can <laughs> look at it. You can follow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Twitter. Right. Oh yeah, Twitter. there's Twitter too. What is it though? It's like yours is Miss Girl. Mine is. Miss nah, Mike that's Lee. just my like we'll the name of it. It's like Tracy Ten, I think. I've had it forever, so I don't remember it. We'll post links. In oh, the it is Tracy something. Yeah. Mm. Thank you guys. Thank you for being thanks here, for Paul. Thanks for having us. Hey, all right. Hey, thanks for having us. One more mix with Mondo, and we'll be back with more on the Rodriguez Show.